Good morning, everyone. I'm Dan Granger, and I'm the president of Sleegers Engineered Products, proudly located here in the great city of London, Ontario. Sleegers is a diverse group of individuals who have joined together to blend their exceptional talents for welding, for assembly, for powder coating, for engineering, and operational excellence, together with a commitment to safety, to create a world-class producer of pressure vessels, air compressors, and intelligent vending solutions. The skills, the knowledge, and the teamwork of our people are the cornerstones of the success of this company. It's now my pleasure to introduce some very special guests. Today we're joined by the Minister of Labor, Training, and Skills Development, Minister Monty McNaughton. Where is he? Over there, yes. And uh, um, the, the Minister of Com Government and Consumer Services, Minister Ross Romano. We're also pleased to be joined by London's Deputy Mayor Josh Morgan. I would like to thank all our special guests for taking the time to be with us today. At this time, I'd like to turn the podium over to Minister McNaughton. Minister McNaughton, please. Great. Thank you uh, so much, Dan. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be here uh, today. What an amazing uh, business right here uh, in London, employing hundreds of people. Uh, Dan, I want to thank you for hosting us here at Sleegers Engineered Products. Uh, it's great to join you and our chair of the WSIB, uh, Grant Walsh, uh, today in London for an amazing, uh, game-changing announcement for this community. Uh, also pleased to be joined by uh, my colleague, uh, Minister Ross Romano, and Acting Mayor Josh Morgan. Uh, earlier today, as I said, Dan took us on a tour, and I got to see firsthand the work being done here. And make no mistake, under our government, good paying jobs are coming back to southwestern Ontario. Our government, under the leadership of Premier Ford, knows that our great province is more than just downtown Toronto. We're on a mission to build a stronger Ontario that works for everyone, no matter where you live. And that means fighting to spread hope and opportunity more widely and fairly to every corner of Ontario. Our government is leading by example. Today, I'm pleased to announce that we're planning to move the WSIB's head office to London. This move, as part of Minister Romano's Community Jobs Initiative, will ensure that provincial agencies are spread out in communities all across Ontario. We're lifting all regions up. Our plan will gradually move thousands of jobs to London and give workers here access to good jobs close to home so that families no longer have to abandon their hometowns to serve our province. We're allowing the first-rate, talented people right here in southwestern Ontario to live, work, and contribute to their local communities, while also saving money by moving the WSIB off one of the most expensive real estate blocks in Canada. Leveraging the success of the WSIB's existing regional office, lower rental costs, and London's historic position as a hub for insurance, legal, and financial services. Our government has heard loud and clear from businesses and workers alike that they expect more from the WSIB. That is why we are driving generational change at the agency from moving towards raising compensation rates for injured workers to rewarding safe employers for the first time ever by returning up to $1.5 billion in surplus funds to them, the changes we're making will benefit the people of Ontario for generations to come. While other governments in the past just talked and delayed, we've got a plan and we're delivering. Through game-changing moves like this one today, we're saying yes to a brighter future that everyone in Ontario deserves. For far too long, the Liberals ignored communities outside of Toronto who have been waiting for their fair share. We're stepping up. We're saying yes to good jobs for our workers all across Ontario. 
The days of waiting are over. We're investing in our communities, we're building our province, we're getting the job done. Thank you very much, and it's now my pleasure to welcome uh, my good friend, uh, the Deputy Mayor and the Acting Mayor uh, today, uh, Josh Morgan, to really share what this means for the people of London uh, and the region. So Josh, over to you. Uh, thank you, and thank you for letting me be here today on behalf of Mayor Holder and all members of City Council. First off, let me say thank you. Thank you for today's announcement. Uh, London is one of the fastest growing population centers and fastest growing economies in the country. Uh, this is truly a city on the move. And we are a city of uh, agricultural manufacturing, a city of healthcare, a city of education, and as the minister said, a city of financial services and insurance services. And this move will help us continue to diversify our economy, continue to provide good, well-paying jobs to the citizens of London and those in the region, and really continue that momentum that London now has as a city growing, thriving, and moving forward together. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, both the ministers today and the premier for seeing London as that city on the move. It's so incredibly important to have uh, partners uh, in, uh, at Queen's Park who, who have identified and have seen uh, the potential of our city and are investing in it. I know Mayor Holder has had multiple conversations with the Premier, uh, certainly Minister McNaughton and I talk on a regular basis, and having those incredible partnerships and relationships uh, with those decision makers at Queen's Park uh, is really what allows us to move our city forward together in partnership. Uh, this is an incredible day for the City of London, uh, and, and I couldn't be more happy uh, to be here to share in that news. And, and again, I'll, I will conclude just once again by saying thank you. Thank you for creating opportunity in our city. Thank you for bringing uh, great, high-paying, uh, quality jobs to our city. And thank you for the continued partnership uh, that we have together. Uh, this is a phenomenal day, and, and I'm happy to be here. Thanks. Great. Well, thank you very much uh, uh, to Acting Mayor uh, Josh Morgan today uh, for that. And uh, with that, we're happy to take questions. Hi, Minister McNaughton. How many new jobs is this estimated to bring to London versus employees that will just be shifted into our community from Toronto? Well, certainly this is a, a great day for London. We're talking about thousands of jobs uh, coming here to London. There'll be jobs uh, created here in London. But look, why are we doing this? We want to spread opportunity more widely and fairly uh, to every region uh, of this province. Why should we have uh, the WSIB uh, in, in a building, the most expensive in the country, 600,000 square feet with two floors of a call centre in downtown uh, Toronto? It makes no sense. So under the leadership of Premier Ford, uh, we're moving those jobs uh, to London. Uh, this is a great day to make uh, London a hub. Uh, for the WSIB, and uh, we're looking forward to getting the job done. So you don't know yet how many employees will just be transferred out of the Toronto office here? Well, certainly uh, there's going to be uh, uh, people moving here uh, from the WSIB headquarters uh, to London, but there will be uh, jobs created uh, here in London for the people of London. Um, Minister, what's the timeline uh, on this project? Uh, and do you, is this going to be located in the downtown core? Well, look, the, the, the WSIB will determine um, uh, where, where it's going to be located uh, in London, but uh, I can tell you what we've been doing. We've been driving change at, at the WSIB. It wasn't that long ago. The system was on uh, the brink of uh, bankruptcy. We brought in a new leadership. We've uh, uh, begun uh, ensuring that uh, premiums uh, are lower for employers uh, across the province. Uh, we announced an increase in compensation rates for uh, injured workers. This is all about building back uh, a better WSIB system that works for workers and works for employers, and particular, particularly uh, small businesses. But uh, this is going to be done uh, uh, very soon. Uh, we're moving forward immediately uh, to change uh, legislation to ensure that uh, the WCB headquarters can be located uh, here in London. Uh, Minister, can you uh, uh, tell us what percentage of WSIB employees are working remotely and may not have to relocate to London? Is this going to be a much smaller office than what is currently located in Toronto? 
Well, I can't tell you uh, in, in the terms of uh, uh, numbers, uh, but I, I can tell you there are thousands of people that work for uh, the WSIB. Those jobs are coming uh, to London. Uh, we're moving uh, the headquarters here, uh, which is going to be uh, great news for London uh, and region. And the people of London uh, deserve to have uh, government agencies uh, located uh, here. And as I uh, mentioned, under uh, Ross Romano's leadership, uh, we're going to move uh, agencies to other communities across the province. We don't just want agencies uh, being located uh, in Toronto, in downtown Toronto. It makes economic sense to get them out into different communities like London to create jobs here uh, for the people of London and area. Great. Okay. Thank you, everyone. And Dan, thank you to you and your team. As I said, uh, when we did the tour here, it really felt like a uh, family with all the uh, workers here doing great things uh, to build uh, this uh, company and to build uh, the future of the province of Ontario. So thank you, everyone. A great day for London.